Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, the 13th of January. I almost forgot what month we were in. It feels like we're still in 2020, so forgive me. Obviously, this will be up on our channels on Friday as a 14th because we do pre-record. I'm here with my two sisters, Taylor and Stephanie. How are you ladies doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm good. It's so funny because as you guys know, we're really good friends off camera as well. So we talk all the time. We literally like zoom for hours without recording. And so when I hit record and I ask you guys how you're doing, it always feels kind of weird because we've literally been chatting for like 30 minutes before. before yeah, because like, you know how I am. <laughs> we just talked about this. Like, so, um, I'm as good as I was two minutes ago, five minutes ago, <laughs> 10 minutes ago. Exactly. Well, it's also like we get on and we're like, girl, it's not like, we get on, how are you doing today, girl? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I this don't even Bryce know when she gets on the zoom. I just need to do this. This is what Bryce looks like. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, girl, y'all, girl, y'all. y'all. <laughs> Listen to this, it. y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who knew? You know, I think we have this whole, you know, if you think I, I loved when we first like when t- the, the big the big thing of 2020 first happened in March, we'll say, I think we, we thought, you know, Oh, this is the apocalypse. Now we know it's not the apocalypse, but I loved all those memes where it memes where it was like what I thought I would be looking like in the apocalypse. And it was like this warriors and what I really look like in like sweatpants. And, a, and a <laughs> <laughs> who knew, who knew that switching the timeline would be on zoom that we would literally be in the cloud on zoom, that this is where the YouTubes, the Twitters, the Instagrams, that this is actually where the um, final battle is being played out because this is the battle for information and for our souls. Right. And um, when I was on the blue tent, the sacred blue tent, uh, I think it was Tuesday night. My, all my days are running together. Now um, we were, we did, we talked about King James, uh, the, the King James Bible, which you guys haven't seen that episode. I'll put it down in the description box below, but we were talking, uh, Sabrina Gal brought up one of um, Mr. T's, tweets from one of his other accounts where he talked about project looking glass and how they kind of derailed it. The, the good guys, because that was really kind of what the internet was supposed to be. I'm kind of paraphrasing it. Um, but that now we're using the tools that were supposed to not be good for us. We we are hijacking it. I like that. Ooh, so here we are. The enemy makes for bad. God makes for good. Absolutely. That's an example Absolutely. And, and, and it's that great. Is, I know. I know. It's so fantastic. And it's so funny because I literally, you know, um, I feel like I spend more of my day with you gals, even though we are all, all in three different states, than I do people here in Atlanta, you know, because of this, this technology. So, yeah. and I'm so happy. We're going to finish up some of the questions today that you guys sent in. Um, and then I will post, um, on my community tab a little bit later in the week for, for more questions to come in. Thank you guys for being patient with us. And I also want to say too, I know, I know that uh, both Stephanie and Taylor have said this a lot, but I want to just reaffirm that regardless of what the cards say um, or what kind of downloads we get, your intuition is always going to trump that always. So I really, I, I really, um, you know, of course we love divination. I mean, we, we divine together all the time. Don't we ladies? Like we're constantly sitting together, pulling cards we together. We have a little bit of an obsession problem. <laughs> Is it a problem though? <laughs> no, we're doing it no. for the greater good. <laughs> no, but, but I, I do. And we even say to each other, like, we're always like, let's double check this. Let's, you know, and I really want to just like, especially in all seriousness, when we're moving into this new timeline, in my opinion, the whole point of this great awakening of this timeline flip is that you find your sovereignty and that you start to listen to yourself. And yes, it's awesome to be able to pull cards or look at a pendulum board, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, we really want you guys to own your own power um, because that's what's been taken from you. So take it back, take it back. So anyway, and I know Taylor, you had something you wanted to share too, because we've been talking a lot about the whole twin flame thing, which is coming up a lot now. Yeah. I feel like the energy of it, like everyone's all putting their pieces of their puzzle together. And the other thing about it too, I feel like people are asking a lot more like love questions. And I think it's sweet because it's like, 
they're looking for something of equal exchange of energy. And even if it's just a soul family or a soul group or something like that, people are looking for that as well. Again, why Zoom and things like this are great. The positive of it is so amazing that we've been able to connect, right? Mm -hmm. But another thing I've seen for the past three months, it opened up to me was some people do have partners on ships and in higher dimensions. So I did just want to say, if you feel like they're is someone and you just know and you feel energetically that they're not here and they're somewhere else that is definitely a possibility that has been coming into my reality it's like once it opened up it started to come in more and i started to realize how common it was that maybe you dropped in for the mission and your normal partner that you would incarnate with you know is supporting you from a different dimension which is amazing we know they can do more from that dimension too so just remember that i actually know someone in my personal life who has a twin flame yeah. Different, yeah. Yeah. All three of us, ours are on this earth. And so a lot of you will have your person here, but I have someone in my personal life who's is not yeah. here. So. And like you said, on earth with you, it's just a choice. Like they just made a choice to drop in. It's not always a normal thing. Like we said about this from the beginning, this is not normal circumstances. The way Ascension is going this time with all the assistance from the Galactics too, like this is not a, we keep our body. This is not a normal thing. <laughs> yes. No, I know. What did you text last night? Was last night you texted or this morning about all the ships, Taylor? It was so funny. Like they're like tailgating right now. Yeah. It's like, so, well, the first thing I saw was a couple of days ago. I shared this with my client yesterday. She was really cool. I was like, she's like, well, what's going on up there? And I was like, well, I went into the ship that I normally go up into and I was looking around and they looked like they were running around gathering things almost like, I don't know if you guys watch SpongeBob where he's looking through the file cabinets and he's like throwing stuff around and everything's burning. Okay. It wasn't that crazy, but they were running around and I was like, what the heck is going on? And it was like this preparation energy. So of course we're trying to be careful with time, but I do want to affirm that that is something that's going on. But I also saw like this sounds so cliche. They were probably metaphorically showing it to me, but like banners, like celebration, welcome <laughs> home, like that kind of energy. So that was really cute. But yeah, there definitely feels like there's some sort of ce ce celebration energy and like watching. Like, I just back. saw a galactic ship in my mind with a flag <laughs> off it that said hashtag FJB or yeah. let's <laughs> go. You know what? <laughs> That's my shit. Problem. Oh my gosh. I, I could, I could just see these beings just like, kind of like, <laughs> like on the, on the outskirts of the, of the ships, they have these like little tailgates. They could just, you know, barbecue, barbecue out and yeah. just dangle their legs and they got, yeah, barbecue going over they get some beers. beers the yeah. No, I mean, that's, they're like, let's go. <laughs> well, it's like, it's, it's, and, and I know, um, for, for, we follow some of the, um, the boards, like the Palladium board, the Cassiopeian board. And even the Palladians, and I, um, there was a slogan that Mr. T had. You guys know what I'm talking about. Well, they, I think I've said it before in a show, but they, they use that slogan. And instead of America, they put the cosmos in there because they were so happy. I saw that. Yeah. Um, that, so they're so excited. Which I was like, I mean, for those of you who are not from the United States, I don't know if they do tailgating because I know American football. So I can't stand American football, FYI. But, um, but they, they tailgate. So people will go into the parking lot and like cook out and party before the game. And so that's kind of when you told me that I was like, oh, my God, they're in tailgating. Like they're tailgating they're their beer. Life. They're opening their champagne bottles. <laughs> you know, they like, have their kazoos, their confetti. Yes. Yes. And it's, and you know, when, when, uh, when we say enjoy the show or this is a movie, but we realize we we're actually in the show. We're actually the movie. Maybe that was for them. <laughs> Maybe they're having a great time. <laughs> they're eating popcorn and watching. The that movie. is a thought. Yeah. Cause yeah. we know where the storm. So, um, so anyway, um, and yes, the, the whole twin flame thing that's uh, and, and can we touch a little bit? Like, I won't say we were kind of channeling the other night and that kind of confirmed that that is what's going to happen when we, when we ascend is all twin flames will be connected again. Yeah. And it's like union, whatever union means for that partnership, however they need to come together. So it looked like it was like a huge, like whenever Steph says the great gathering, I believe it's a great gathering of soul family too. But I also, there was something about twin flames that came through, through a session and yeah, it felt like it was all will come together in some way in some sort of union, depending on what their partnership agreed to. Right. Yeah. Um, and we talked about that last episode that a lot of twin flame relationships are romantic. 
Yeah. But some of them are not. Yeah. Some of them aren't, but a lot of them are. So, and that's just going to be, and I think, can we, can we ask quickly before we get to the questions on the twin flame subject? I know a lot of people are starting to figure out who their twin flame is. I know that a lot of people are starting to kind of have that awakening of, of who, who that is. Um, now, when we do flip, will everybody know? Is that some information that everybody that's sticking around will then know? Will, will spirit tell us? What's kind of came through for BQH sessions, I'll just tell you what I know, what I've gathered, is for some people, things as far as their memories move back slowly. But for other people, I've seen that it's like a rush, like in the blink of the eye. So it's whatever the person's journey needs. But I do believe that that information, whatever information that needs to come forward will 100% come forward. And I would love for Steph to draw cards on that too, if you want to, Steph. But yeah. And then the masculine feminine thing too. We all have masculine feminine energy. I wouldn't doubt it if twin flames decided to incarnate into like, like child, mother, same set. I don't, I don't know. Like I have absolutely no idea, but that's a cool concept. And I would love to do a session with someone that does have a twin flame. That's like same sex or family. That'd be so fascinating. To me. Where there is no romantic, like fire. Yeah. It's, it's, but there is a, you know, that you're, you're like the same same, but different. Like, and I like how you said that too, Taylor, last week, because we know that with twin flames, they're literally, they're literally like the same soul, but not at the same time, because they're complete mm -hmm. within themselves. Like you are not, you know, and I, and I think we got to get rid of that with the new, the new timeline, especially for women, you know, as women, we've been conditioned to think we need a knight in shining armor. Don't get me wrong. I love a knight in shining, shining armor. I like that, that male. Knight of cups, honey. <laughs> yeah, knight of cups. I like that. I like that. I'm not, I'm not mad about that. But that idea that you can't, you can't keep, be complete on yourself. Stop. Oh, there we go. That looks like a yeah. coming towards too. Like an offering. I'm going to both cards on this, this subject. So uh, yes, and there's strength in that. Um, it's going to come after the ascension with that 10. Actually, I get a 10 of cups in addition to that. And 10 of cups wow. often talks about happiness, harmony, and family and children. Um Sorry, I forgot. I can't say that word. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's one, one time is fine. Yeah. Um, some of them will be working together with that six of uh, pentacles, but I also, <clears throat> I also feel like too, there'll be unions. So there'll be a little bit of both, but you yeah. will know. You I, will think know. A, I think a lot of twin flames that are going to be romantically involved will also be working together too. Yes. That feels right. Yeah. That and feels very right. Yeah. One thing I noticed about the whole twin flame journey as well is that a lot of times you're not, if, if you are romantically going to be with your twin flame, a lot of times from what I've researched, you kind of meet them later on because you both have to do a lot of work yourself. You're so good. You literally just, I was like, I need to make sure I say that. And then you said it. I just, you're amazing. Oh, you guys are amazing. So are you, girl. So are you. I girl. learned from y'all. Y'all. Girl. Y'all. <laughs> I don't care where I'm living in the world. I'm always going to say y'all. That's the one part of my Southern upbringing that I'm never going to give up. Um, Listen, I'm in freaking Babylon. I'm still, I'm now saying y'all. <laughs> Although, should we even go into that whole thing? <laughs> maybe, maybe in the future. I have a feeling that's going to have to come up eventually. And I, but maybe in the future, I don't know if people are, you know, we'll get more, get more information on that guys. But if you're not sure what we're talking about, if you go to my Twitter page and there's a map I posted, basically our geography is totally effed up. Like nothing we've been taught is know. actually its original place. Words. <laughs> so let's just say don't hold on to these, these ideas of where you are is where you think you are because mirror it, everything yes and <laughs> let's just say there's a reason why america was such a focal point at the beginning of this journey america first um yeah, we'll leave it at that. We'll just leave it at that for now. So, um, but maybe future we can do a deep dive into that and look even more into the geography. I have a feeling that stuff's, I mean, I really feel, and I know a lot of, and I hate to say this and we're not, we, we've learned, the three of us have learned in our own private divinations together that we are not asking for dates anymore. We're not asking for anything like that because first of all, they work on a different timeline than we do. And second of all, if they were to give us dates and we were to say it, and that brings it into the 3D and we have to trust and let them do what they need to do. We don't need to be screwing anything up for them or them having to shift. We're not going to screw it up. It's, it's going to flip. But for them to have to shift, shuffle and shift around because we screwed up, we like said something we weren't supposed to say. 
Does that make sense? I hope I'm being clear on that. So at this point, um, we need to let go and let God and just continue doing what we're doing here the best we can, which is really just helping each other. I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what we're doing. I think with all of us on our YouTube channels, whether you're deep diving a subject or having an interview or looking at tarot cards, we're all just helping each other. We're all just walking each other home and helping each other find that strength to stand on our own two feet. So, um, but I do feel like with that being said, I do feel like we're at the crescendo, especially since we're going into Mercury retrograde, either today or tomorrow, we're going to be entering into that retrograde. And I know a lot of people really freak out about Mercury retrograde. I know it's super annoying because you're going to possibly have like computer issues, cell phone issues, anything with communication and technology, car issues sometimes. Times. Um, my battery usually goes dead, goes dead during a retrograde. Um, so advice for retrograde for your own personal life, just make sure when you're communicating people with you're really clear with them and you double check because that's when there can be miscommunication. Don't get frustrated if your cell phone goes haywire or your computer goes haywire. Just it is what it is. Don't buy a new cell phone or a new computer during this time. Don't sign any contracts during this time. However, the positive thing about Merc Mercury retrograde, and I've said this before, Mercury retrograde is a fantastic time to end a project mm. and have it be finalized. So with that being said, I'm not going to, I'm just going to, I'm not going to say any dates, but let's just put good thoughts about this Mercury retrograde because it's coming mm. and it's coming fast. The eight of wands. <laughs> Can I ask you, they showed me Uranus in my head and I, I really don't study astrology. I love knowing my sun, moons and other peoples and stuff like that, but I'm not, I never really studied astrology. What is Uranus rule? Why would that I go don't know. Goes I'll retrograde? Have to do Someone who knows astrology, who's, let who's, us know. yeah, Venus let us know what's Uranus. Venus is also retrograde right now as well, which is mm -hmm. interesting because Venus rules relationships. So when Venus goes retrograde, you can, it's time to reevaluate your, your relationships. And usually that has to do, usually that does have to do with romantic partnerships. Mm. Sometimes not. And Venus retrograde isn't like as, as intense as like Mercury retrograde, but that's interesting that they're kind of overlapping with each other right now. And we're going into this final crescendo and then twin flames are going to come together. What is that? Ace of cups. Ace of and cups. Ace of cups often talks about like love and passion and so if you're feeling really, I know, I know so, I mean, ha, ladies, how many people do we know right now that are having like these, um, come to Jesus yes. moments where they don't, where they're thinking their whole relationships are going to shift and change. How many, we know so many people. It's like tower and personal and in collective now. Like it's like showing up in people's lives for real now. You know? Yeah. And so I, I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's painful. I know, but just breathe and know that everything has to be destroyed in order for right. it to be created right now it's a big purge purging of the old when one door sh shuts the next one opens and normally the one that opens is much better than the one that shut yeah. so i know it's harder it, it, it's easier said than done but we agreed to those things before we were born yeah we did we absolutely did this is uh what is it saying esther Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. I love that. And as we're learning, the Bible, we, we, I don't know if you said this on our shows yet. Um, I think I said this on the Sacred Blue Tent, but we're learning that uh, Bible, the books of the Bible are not in order, guys. They're oh my not gosh, in order. No. So not only yeah. are they corrupted, but they're also out of order. So There's some um, Old Testament scriptures that really should be in the New Testament. Exactly. So, Like the book of Daniel. Exactly. So, um, so I'm just going to say, you know, take these little stories for what they are. They might not be talking about something that happened in the past. They might be actually talking to you right now. Like Perhaps that. you were born for such a time as this. So, all right. With that being said, let's get into some of these questions. So Kelly Hunt, she said, what a wonderful opportunity. I have never had any questions answered. Why is my son, Matthew, so socially awkward and afraid to be his best self? My son, Andrew, struggles with driving. Was there something he experienced to cause this fear? So we're asking first about Matthew, who is socially awkward and afraid to be his best self. And then we're going to ask about Andrew, who struggles with driving. 
I actually do want to tell her something about Andrew because I, after I went through, so I went through plenty dark night of the souls. Um, it was a repetitive process since my twenties and in my mid twenties. Um, so about four years ago, I tried to get in a car and I didn't know how to drive. Um, so I actually haven't driven for like three or four years because I get panic attacks when I drive. And I don't know if it's because it's something out of my body, like it's not my actual vehicle because I'm not used to like actual cars. And I also wonder if cars were a way, because we know there's easier ways of transportation that, you know, higher dimensional beings have that maybe the hidden tech they've hidden from us has something to do with travel too, right? Like um, in someone's session, we saw this magnetic, I think it was Tesla energy, um, magnetic railway, and it was just floating and going fast and you would get places so fast. I almost wonder if those technologies are underground somewhere. So we need to take those back too, but I can't drive. So I actually understand what he's going through and it might be something to do with what cars were made for. Think about how many accidents happens in cars. And that was my hit for myself. So I'm wondering if maybe he has a mirroring thing with that. That that would be for Andrew, obviously. But I used to have a similar problem to that too. I used to have an issue driving because I had, get panic attacks and I'd have to pull over constantly. Yeah, I can't drive anymore. It sucks. <laughs> um, in my Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say like living in cities my whole life, like living in uh, Los Angeles for a while in Atlanta. Like I, I, ha I understand that because I have to drive and it's, it's, it's like you have to be a defensive driver because, you know, I get that um, for sure. Wow. I, wow. I think Matthew is not from this dimension. Um. I feel like he's having a hard time adjusting. There's a lot of confusion um, in this dimension. Um, I can relate to Matthew with that. I'm sure the three of us can relate to that. Um, I feel like he comes from a much higher dimension um, in that he probably volunteered himself for this period of time. Um, I'm getting that he is definitely um, intuitive with that Queen of Cups and loving. Um but I, I'm feeling like in the future, it will get better for him when we go into the next uh, dimension, the fourth density positive, because that's preparing for, and that's a victory right there. Yeah. I wonder how old Matthew is too, because I think that, you know, you think about it. I know we, we're all star seeds. All three of us, we're not from this, your souls are not from this, this planet. So, um, when you're young too, or going through those teenage years, even your early twenties, you're trying to fit in with humans, yeah, you but you, it's hard. And so I, you know, I, I, I kind of, I agree with that. That's probably what's going on with him. And it probably will come once, once he's able to be himself, I think. I'm, yeah. I'm picking up possible like um, Asperger's or um, PDD NOS, which is not specified or um, it's, um, oh, what is it called? Um, Non-pervasive disorder, not specified. So my son was in that category, totter, teeter tottering between those two different diagnoses, um, and he was very socially awkward. Um, something she might want to try too is maybe a heavy metal detox that could also help with the awkwardness because the heavy metals often do, do give us behavioral issues. But I, I do feel like that he has probably some starseed energy going on in addition to it. But the heavy metal detox, if she wants to uh, email me through the group email, I can also uh, tell her what I detox my son with. I've been helping moms with that kind of stuff. So cool. Kelly, I will put, um, I will put Stephanie's email address down in the description box below. So you can reach out to her for that. Yeah. And I did just want to say, uh, I'm going to, I kind of lost my cards because I put them away because Stephanie was already on it, but I got my top two that came out anyways. So we got justice. So he's came to anchor this energy. This is the new energy, the wave of energy, the more emotional way of being the more looking inside way of being. So I definitely think he's from off world. I agree. And I also believe he's coming in here to assist the energy in the grid. That's definitely what he's doing. And it's going to get better. He's going to go through his rebirth process and he's going to come out and it's going to be, yeah, there's that off world. It's going to come out and he's going to do amazing things. I feel like it's not only that he's, he's special and he has all this knowledge within it's like, he really is actually going to do some really cool stuff too. So yeah. That's exciting for Matthew. That's so exciting. Cool. All right. What do we have for well, Andrew? On Andrew. Um, so Andrew is definitely um, having a hard time letting go of his fear with that 10 of wands. 
He has definitely has a fear of travel, uh, I would say, just in general. Um, and that's causing a blockage um, and a fear of death, obviously. So it's like, it's a straight up fear. I mean, this pretty much spelled it out. The whole entire spread was just, he's like in total fear. And I think he has a fear of death. In the car makes him feel contained with that two of swords that they told me contained. So he feels really contained and uncomfortable when he's in a car. So I kind of, that obviously would resonate with me too, but that's just what I heard whenever she pulled that card too. So it's interesting. So when my grandmother passed away when I was like eight, um, and I believe that she's been guiding, I've seen her around me since then. I'm 30 years now, but when she passed away, that was when for the first time at eight years old in this life, I understood mortality and I went through, I remember going through like a major depression and I didn't want my parents going anywhere. I remember my mother would, would play in these like tennis leagues and I would like cry when she would leave. because I was so afraid that she wasn't going to come back home. And um, it kind of, with that overwhelming fear that Andrew seems to have, I mean, did, I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, I'm, I'm, does he have someone to talk, have, have a uh, people, I mean, I don't know if it is the past life thing that he's dealing with or if something has happened in this life that's made him like deathly afraid of no pun intended of, of taking basically, I mean, that's a lot of responsibility driving a big, a car that's machinery. And you are literally taking your own life in your hands when you do that. And plus people around you. So I totally understand his fear, but um, would, would the cards like give some specific, like tell him what he can do to help shift that because it's not the thing about what, what pains me for him is it's really not even about the driving. It's the fear that he's carrying. And that's not fun to be in that, that, that that's, that's rough. And I've been there. We've, I think we've all been there. So what, what would, what would the, our guides, um, what source tell, tell Andrew to do to try to move through that? I just got, I just got this, this this thought too that this isn't coming from the cards however i have this coming up in that in the card spread that i just pulled to ask what he can do for it i'm almost wondering um especially if he's maybe coming from the bible belt if it really if it's like this is why i was afraid of driving i was afraid to die because i was afraid because the church always told me i was going to hell i'm wondering if maybe they're in a church type setting Something is feeding him fear of death because he thinks he's going to a bad place and he's programmed that way. I don't know. I could be wrong, but um, I oh. think he's going to snap out of it at some oh point. Oh my gosh, we got the too. same card. I was waiting. I saw it in your head. I was like, come on, girl, we got this. <laughs> and this, <laughs> might be, this might be something he has to go through for his yeah. own spiritual development. So yeah, you know, I would say to, I would say he needs to definitely learn to let go of fear he needs to find some techniques. Um, this is celebration. Yeah. I don't think in the new, I think with it the flip stick. of everything, it's, yeah. yeah, it's not it going to stick. stick. Don't worry. I don't even think it's going to be an issue going into the future. Oh, it's not. That's you. exactly what I got too. Yeah. I, I don't think this is something that we'll have to be worried about. Um, I wonder, yeah. I wonder if that's like the whole thing is like, he, he just has to hold in his knowing and like, maybe he already has this in his knowing that cars are kind of like obsolete to him and his energy because he came in at a higher frequency. A lot of the children did. And I know he's not a child anymore, but even the teens, they're, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. So yeah, I agree a hundred percent. Oh, well, she's got, sounds like you got two awesome kids, Kelly. Yeah. They're very powerful kids. All right. So we have another question from a person named a, a Taylor. Um, hi, Bryce, my partner, and I love listening to you, Steph and Taylor. Would you ask what lies ahead for us with pregnancy in 2022? I have a feeling we're going to be having a lot of pregnancies. And baby boomers, take two. Baby boomer. Um, and, I, and I don't want to sound morbid, but I do think we're going to have a great exit um, coming soon. And then we're going to have new humans coming in that are going to be higher frequency to help keep this planet where it needs to be. So I think yeah, the kids fierce. coming in, man, they are, whew, they're fierce. They are fierce. I have um, a three-year-old, three, four-year-old nephew. And he was like, the other day he was just talking. He was like, I talk to the ghosts sometimes. I was like, well, how do you feel about those ghosts? Like, do they scare you? He was like, no. I was like, okay, good for you. <laughs> Start <That's> him young. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's kind of a so down here in the south everything's freaking haunted anyway we all grew up with ghosts in our house and i remember when i i came home to visit when i was living in out in los angeles and one of my friends from high school had just had well her, her daughter was like two or three years old at that time and i was at their house and their house was like this old railway station that had been rebuilt into a house and so it was super haunted and she would just tell her daughter like just say hi to it just be nice to, like to the ghost. Like it was just like no big deal. Just be nice to him. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I'm picking up in this question. There was potential, maybe a loss of pregnancy in the past with that seven of swords card. She definitely lost something. Um, I mean, that doesn't even necessarily need to be a child of pregnancy. It could be like a pet or something like she, she went through some kind of loss in the, in the, um, in the past. Um, I feel like with that car, she's really been working on herself and maybe her health, maybe improving her health, but something's coming very quick. Oh, with those yeah. two cards, we have an ace, we have the chariot, the chariot's very fast. Um, <laughs> spirit doesn't, doesn't want to necessarily go into details, but the family looks like it will be expanding with that card because that's a family card right there. So just keep practicing. <laughs> Yeah, Manifest. I got the same. Uh, she's grown really strong and the waters will get a little bit clearer and something they may have been working on for a while or thinking about for a little while coming in fast. So yes, I'm getting kind of the same thing stuff is too, that something could have happened that made them maybe not want to or question or maybe they were told they couldn't, but I just want you to know that it'll, it'll divine out. Do you think with the raising of vibrations and the way everything's shifting that people are just going to be more fertile? Cause we're, we're going to be healthier and yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got that yeah. from a session. No, we're all going to be walking uteruses. <laughs> I know. Okay. I won't go into detail about this, but we have been picking up on a lot of pregnancies coming a lot. Oh and I, I don't, I'm going to be a little bit vulnerable here, but like I, I'm, I'll be 39 in February. I, I don't think I've ever been pregnant, but I've had uterus issues. I've had a twisted uterus. Um, there's been a lot, but I know that that's coming for me as well. So I think that there's something that's, you know, we know about their, their plans to, I'm trying to be careful about what I say, but to shrink us basically. And you just have to wonder, somebody said something. We, I think we were on a private call where we were talking about the extension of life, how we're going to be living a lot longer. Um, maybe even too long, 400 years seems a little, little long, but, um, about that our ability, especially for women, since we're born with our eggs, that we'll, uh, we'll have the ability to, to, to be dropping eggs okay. even later into life because our ovaries were going to be healthier. You know, mm -hmm. the problem with it and the matrix system that we're in now, like at my age, there is a possibility that the egg that dropped would be a little bit older. And so there might be issues. At least that's what they tell us. Um, mm -hmm. I know people who have had babies my age or older who have perfectly healthy babies. But I think that with the new coming... Um, ascension with everything even with the the beds and all that kind of stuff i think that especially for a woman's body your ovaries are going to be way more um fertile for a very long time does that make sense yeah yeah and i 100 percent agree with that i agree with that 129 percent. i'm not trying to one up you i just wanted to pick a number i don't know why. <laughs> Oh, I'm in Taylor. I see how it is. Girl, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Listen, we all know we got babies coming. So, <laughs> well, I wanted to say so, so, you know how Steph's been saying, like, like, even if the job doesn't seem real yet, keep picturing it. So I had that come in for a woman who felt like she was older, but she was like, I keep feeling like I have children coming in. But she's like, but it makes no sense. Well, a lot of this stuff isn't going to make sense. So keep right. holding on to your vision and your knowing. And if that's something you feel like you want or desire in your life, keep thinking about it because a lot of things are going to change, like they said. So, Well, you know, you go back into the Bible and yeah, we know it's manipulated, but there are some characters in there, some females that had children well into their hundreds. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. And I feel, and I actually feel like I even look back at my videos from when I first started doing this channel and I feel like I look younger now. I feel like my body, I feel, I, my body feels better at 38 than it did at 28 at this point, because I feel like, I feel like we're already kind of starting that, that ascension process. And I feel like it's been happening for a little while now. And so, and it is, it is, it is strange because we know there's no such thing really as reality because everything's really just an illusion, but um, that's deep philosophy there, guys, we won't go that deep, but we know, but we, I think that's hard because there's such a fantastic future ahead of us. 
but we've been so placed in this like 3d matrix that it's hard for us to even conceive no pun intended, conceive a world that's going to look so different, you know, and how things are going to happen. And that's where it takes courage and it takes faith to just hold on to that knowing because it doesn't matter how it happens at this point. We have to let go and let God at this point anyway, just know that it will happen. So, um, all right. So next question, this is from Julie A. Hi girls. And thank you. Last year at this time, I was out for a few months with the illness. Whenever I closed my eyes, I would see this little stick figure creature in the bottom of my field of vision mind's eye. He had an, had an askew triangle head and two perfectly circled eyes that did not blink. He knew that I knew he was looking at me and I finally told the little shit to get lost. It was annoying and creeped me out. I no longer saw him, but felt he was still around. Was this just a high fever halluc hallucination or something else? Hi, Julie. So I actually worked with Julie. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, like, like with BQH, we, we, we worked together. Um, we had some work done. And I feel like what I got from that, and I want Stephanie's cards too, but what I got from it was like, it was observing her. And making sure she was okay. I don't think it was threatening or anything like that. It felt like an assistant of something that was watching her. And it didn't feel like malicious or anything. So obviously I'll have Steph check that out too. I have a vision of Shrek with the little gingerbread man. Yes. People. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why, but that's what came into my head. I, like, I know he has a triangle head and two circle eyes, but what, what does he say? He says, Pop a gum drop button. <laughs> Not the gum drop buttons. Are here. <laughs> oh boy. Let's track. Sorry. <laughs> hard to say. That was funny. The little shit. <laughs> I know. Well, here's the thing. And you know, it's so funny. My friend Cindy often talks about these like insect looking. Um, I don't know if they're alien AT off worlders or like different dimensional. And they actually literally their whole, their sole purpose is to study us. Mm -hmm. they're just taking information they're not good or bad they're just studying us and when she said that that's what i was thinking of like these like insects looking even though it's just triangle head with round eyes just kind of studying and observing and seeing what was going to happen the man it's a, there's a mantatee collecting yeah that's it, it. That's like it yeah okay. yeah <laughs> okay yeah well it was definitely preparing her for the you know future and probably observing with that card um i'm I don't know if it has a gender, but I got three queens in this, so I'm assuming wow. it's a female. Maybe it's her. Maybe she's also those queens, and they're, it's watching her because of her energy, too. I don't know. That's also another thing I just thought. Well, just she's, I'm picking up. Yeah, I mean, she's highly intuitive with that, with, with that card. Um, Don't mind me. I'm just trying to process what I'm getting here. It's always like that. Do you oh, know it came at a it came at a time when she was definitely resting. That's for sure. One well, and, and I was going to ask you, Julie. So sometimes in the East, this is what they teach: sickness is necessary for upgrades. We need yeah. to be sick for upgrades, and so it sounds like that's what was happening to you. Yeah, I get the magician, and then I get the temperance card. So it's definitely a spiritual being of some sort that was probably guiding her, preparing her, um, upgrading her, like you said, um, while she was sick. She was gaining some sort of power with that card, I feel like. Maybe taking back her sovereignty, taking back her power as an individual, as a spiritual being. And it, and But it felt confusing. It felt kind of stressful and... You know, and being sick too, and then seeing a being that would probably be super confusing. And yeah, you know, <laughs> Seven of Cups comes to mind with that. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if it looks like a stick figure. That's kind of cute, though. I, I, I kind of, yeah, I think she must have had some sort, sort of like upgrade, and that was just something yeah. she saw. Maybe she wasn't even supposed to see it. Maybe she accidentally saw it. And and I think most beings that are benevolent. If they know they're freaking you out, they, they're not going to, they'll just, yeah. like, or they, they'll make sure you can't see them because they don't, don't want to freak you out, you know? It did disappear, so. Yeah, I got the same as Steph. Whoop, that just flew. But yeah, it was during her time of resting and they were making sure she healed up well too. So yeah, I literally got pretty much the same spread that Steph did. So I agree. <laughs> I love when that happens. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. 
All right. So this is from Joey. I would, I would really like to, and this looks like it's a female named Joey. I, I would really like to ask, where should my focus be? I'm into tarot, crystals, Reiki, and other he- healing methods, but I don't know where my main focus should be. And if, any advice, love your presence. Thank you, Joey. I just saw an amethyst in my head, so I'm almost wondering about crystals. It's she has all that knowledge within. It's almost like everything you listed is already an offer to her. And it's just about to be offered too, because it's about to end the cycle of the old cycle into the new. Oh man, it's going to bring her joy and abundance too. She needs to keep following that because this is like, she will be like recognized for it. She could also have done it off worlds or in other dimensions. And that knowledge is just going down through her. Yeah. we got that same kind of energy. So yeah, that's amazing. She needs to keep doing it. It's going to, it's almost like, this sounds weird. She's a legacy of it. A legacy is what they're saying. I don't even feel like she needs to choose. She's saying she, you know, all these oh. modalities, tarot, crystal. I feel like it's all the same. It's all going to come together. Yeah. It's yeah, into I- one perfect thing. Yeah. Exactly. I feel like she's very much afraid that if she chooses it, the wrong thing, she's going to lose something like, you know what I mean? With those two eights, um, she feels like she's new at these things. She's kind of like, um, like it's almost like an unfamiliar territory, but that's not the case because I'm getting, there's a lot of clarity Mm -hmm. with every single one of these. Like you said, Taylor, again, I have the hermit, which is that star seed energy. Um, I feel like, yeah, I just feel like it needs to be all of it because you really can incorporate all of it together into yeah. one thing. Hey, one of my good friends is a Reiki master here in Atlanta and she, uh, she uses crystals. She uses all that kind of stuff with her. So, and I, I, I get what you're saying, Stephanie, and I'm going to brag on Stephanie for a minute here because when I met Stephanie in this life, we know we've been with many lives together. She was coming out of like heavy, like evangelicalism. And this time last year, you never would have like picked up a tarot card, would you have? Oh my God. Oh my God. No. <laughs> I'm like, no. And I would see people like on my Facebook, like, oh, tarot reading for $15. I'm no, no, no. That's against God. You're condemned to hell. No, 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 no. We don't do that. Wow. <laughs> and then you started reading and it became like, I remember I first met you, you had just kind of started reading again. But the first time you read something for me, you were just such a nat. And, and I think now you know and you're confident because you know you've done this before. Like you just, you yeah, it's definitely, I did it in a past life. There's no doubt about it in my head because honestly, it just like came to me. That yeah. And, and I trust your readings. And guys, oh, FYI, before I forget, I'm going to do a little plug for Stephanie too. Do you want to go ahead and tell them, Stephanie? Um, so I've started um, my own website. It's, um, I'll give it to Bryce to put in the description box. If you guys want to view it, I'm doing old fashioned bookings though. Um, not through the website, the the website really just kind of shares who I am, what my goals are and my little disclaimer to use your own intuition and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I am doing personal readings now, three days a week. And Taylor, you, I know you're totally like fucked up right now, Taylor, you're, you're busy. (laughs) I'm busy. (laughs) Um, but y'all know she does the beyond quantum stuff and I'll put all Taylor's down there, Taylor stuff down there too. But I I mean, just hearing what, um, uh, what, what she was saying about not being sure if this is where, where, what she should do. And it's like, I just kept thinking about you, Stephanie, like these modalities, Mm -hmm. like, holy crap, like, like, like afraid of the tarot cards. And now you're like throwing them like no one's business. Yeah. You know, you've owned that now and you, it was like all of a sudden it just clicked. And I think if we yeah. get over that fear of trying something, you, you, you don't, you just relax, just settle into it for a moment. You don't know what's going to happen. I really think all those modalities from tarot cards to Reiki to crystals, it's all one thing. Yeah. I did a reading on one of my good friends the other day and she, she said something that really hit me hard. I don't even think I shared it with you guys. She goes, you know, Steph, this is the happiest I've seen you in a long, long time. And like, well, what do you mean? She goes, this is your thing. This is what brings you happiness. And I can see it. You glow from doing this. You do. You do. And so when she said that, I'm like, okay, I get it. God, I'm on the right track. <laughs> you yeah. know, cause you know, sometimes I do have my self doubts and it's like, 
well, should I do it? I've only been reading for a few months. And it's like, and then it's like, God, God, God's very pushy with me. Let me tell you, he's <laughs> very, very pushy with me. He, she, you know, now that we know there's a, a female or the father, mother, God, um, very, very pushy with me, but I think it's because I can handle it. Um, really. <laughs> I was like, you haven't been doing this for a few months, girl. You've been doing this for millions of years. Yeah, I that's exactly so. what I feel too. Yeah. And, yeah. and you guys, it's, it's so interesting because I've actually had someone who told me this yesterday. They were like, I don't really like to go to other psychics. I don't want them to compare me. They're like, don't feel comfortable with people tapping into their energy. Well, I'm that person too. I am so careful with who I let into my energy. I only have one channeler and I've had her for years now. And Steph and Bryce, it was like natural, let it in, instant trust. And on top of it, very, very clear intuitions. So it's just, it's amazing for me to to watch too, because I've never been able to feel vulnerable or open. So yeah, so it's so cool. It's so cool to watch you guys too. Rise of the divine feminine, right? So the Magdalene amazing. coming back. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So, so, and, and I'm just gonna, I mean, for everybody watching, if you think you have a love for tarot or crystals or anything like that, just go out there and try it. Just go try oh, another, it. Another thing too, Bryce, I can mention as well is, um, I will be starting a tarot group on Fridays. It will be a larger group, but it will be by Zoom. And um, it's, I'm not teaching anybody. We're just learning together. <laughs> um, I will teach people how to smudge their cards and to bless their cards to uh, have the, the, the light energies come through and not the dark entities because we work for the light. Um, that I will teach. But um, it will be a fun girls night. Every Friday at six o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time, they can email my group email. Awesome, and I think that's the easiest way to learn, at least for me. I mean, I'm such a y'all y'all know I'm a, I'm a nerd, and I have so many books everywhere. But with tarot, it's it, for me. I learn from watching other people too, and watching how other people can communicate. It's so much. There's so much more of a of an emotional experience watching that than just reading the book. You know, yes. so it's I learned fun. more from watching others do it rather than reading the book. Yeah. Absolutely. And I learned a lot from Taylor, too. So a lot of my teaching, is, you weren't purposely teaching me, but I yeah. watching you do the cards. I learned a lot from you as well. You're freaking so. natural. Just coming straight through the channel and into your hands and into your mouth. I'm just like, what is she doing? How many arms does she have? She's <laughs> I know. She goes so fast. And then when she gets her board, too, it's like, I'm just like, I'm just going to ask Stephanie. Even though I have my board here in my car. Stephanie, I need your help today. <laughs> so, Stephanie, okay. Stephanie's funny. I, I, I don't think I laughed. Last night we were doing some stuff and I don't think I have laughed that hard in a long time time i know we kind of, i mean i think we like to have fun on these dooms call that we put up on youtube but when we when we're not filming i mean and you guys get to work with her her or taylor privately you're going to get to see that side of their personality you know and, and having a sense of humor is the highest level of the, of the spiritual world i mean we were told specifically by the divine to laugh at the dark forces so, <laughs> um, so yeah that literally and and yeah <laughs> and uh while we were channeling actually divine said something through stephanie that both taylor and i had to mute our mics because we were laughing so oh hard. my gosh me and bryce we were dying, dying laughing i was about to ruin a channeling with steph it was it was amazing and i know it would have been fine but me and bryce could not stop laughing because literally I don't, whatever came divine through. put me in my place. The divine, you asked, you were like, do you have any, and I won't say who Stephanie was channeling, but she goes, do you have any, any messages for Bryce? <laughs> and I, and, and whatever came through me and we won't mention who came through me. Okay. Um, cause I was under in the quantum, uh, said, um, be patient. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I was like, I know that. <laughs> well, I, my message really resonated with me too. I got, let yourself be surprised because I'm always been peeking through the veil and there has never been anything. And that's how, I mean, I knew energetically who Steph was channeling. I could feel it. I got emotional many times. Yeah, too, Not yeah. only that, the fact they said, let yourself be surprised. That is so me because I'm looking, I'm peeking. I'm, I'm like, what's next? Come on. That was and part it, of it too was like, um, no, not now. Nope. Not nope. Now, you're, yeah. You'll get to find well, out I now. Keep asking the divine for an itinerary. Like that's how much of a type A, per, even though I'm O blood, I'm type A person. Listen, listen, God, at one o'clock on Friday, 
I would like to have things packed up for this, this, and this. Oh, by the way, I have a hair appointment at. <laughs> that was me. That was me. Right. So, I'm guys, busy. <laughs> I'm busy. You guys, you guys, I fold my underwear. Yeah, I know this. Do. I've seen it. <laughs> I will fold laundry while I'm talking to them. I make my bed up every day. Um, oh, blood. <laughs> I shave my legs every day. Like, I am so mm-hmm. anal retentive. I do. Oh. I do, girl. I do. I, I yeah, do I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. Ooh. I mean, yes. I wear spandex for half of the day, you know, so, and, and you're yoga I, I know, I know before, before I did YouTube, um, when I would teach people grab my body a lot for adjustments, like I haven't grabbed my legs to like lift them up sometimes. So I always felt like that was, it would be rude to not I have don't need some pricklies keeping yeah. through those pants. <laughs> but I'm just a tight, like I, I know, I know I've talked about this very candidly on that. I struggle with uh, CPTSD catastrophe thinking. So I'm there and I try to laugh about it. I like, I want an itinerary. I mm-hmm. want to know down to the second when we're going to be doing things. And so the fact that I have no idea when our whole world is going to change is a huge practice for That's me. Big. It's yeah. a huge practice for me. And so when the entity that we were channeling said, be patient, I lost it. I, I was already muted, but then Taylor had to mute herself because we were laughing hysterically. <laughs> it was like, I know, I know. It I was know, so know. Bryce. It was so perfect. And you could just, and it was like, because Steph was channeling, she was very monotone and her face was very calm. And it's just what came out. I was like, how Steph would be laughing if she could right now. <laughs> so the spirit world is, is, is funny. They, they, they are comical. Yes. And anyway, oh, so yeah. And people's higher selves are quite, uh, people's higher selves are hysterical. All right. So this is from Cynthia. She asked, I've always felt out of place, never felt like I was accepted, trying to figure out who I am and what my purpose is in life. So my question is, will I know who I am, my past lives and my purpose? I split the deck in half for a second. And I normally don't look at those cards, but I heard Starseed and I get the Hermit and I get the Empress. So I'm thinking she's definitely Starseed, Divine Feminine of some sort. But let me shuffle more. I kind of feel like if people are already wondering about their past lives and all that kind of stuff means that they're probably going to get some information. I don't know if it's necessary that we remember everything, but Mm -hmm. um, I I think you are connecting to there's something you're kind of like seeing a little static of something that's, that's maybe starting to emerge from the veil. And that that's probably why you're asking. She's something also people can practice too. And I've been starting to do this on YouTube. If you put in the uh, search bar, um, music healing music to channel past lives um it will come up with all sorts of stuff and you can just go through different channels and everything and see what resonates with you uh what kind of music through that healing uh music uh kind of taps into your pineal and your heart and everything um and you'll just know it it will feel good to to listen to those frequencies um and and just try to like lay down close your eyes and put yourself kind of in the quantum yourself and, and whatever you start picturing, just work with it. Yeah. And I've been doing that. Like I see a lot of pyramids and stuff. A lot. That's what I was about to say. So Steph is a great example because she's always been drawn to Egypt. So the first place we dropped her into, she went straight to Egypt, of course. And I call it the journey of the heart center. So where have you been drawn to your entire life? That's going to tell you a lot. What are you drawn to? Are you drawn to dolphins? Are you drawn to water? What are you drawn to? Do you love Greek mythology? Like I always say that I'm like, you're on to something once your heart center is very attracted to it too. Yeah. There's a knowing. And you said you think that she's going to, she's a healer. Oh yeah. She's well, even, so what I heard was she's a very powerful first and foremost, her energy being here is absolutely insane. This is Archangel Michael normally coming in. So some sort of tie to that, as well as we got the healing of the angelic kingdom. Um, this can come in as a ship, but it also feels like she's really about to know and go into her purpose. This is very fast movement when we have the chariot. And she was asking kind of about timing. So it's something she's been curious about for a really, really long time, especially because she said she never really felt like she fit in. Well, girl, the world is about to be flipped upside down and it's going to be where you do fit because the frequency is going to, f- I, I love saying this, like, how does it feel to just hear like the frequency is finally going to match you? Like, finally. Finally. So yeah, it, it, this is when it comes in, you'll know, and it shall come in in a divine way because lightning's always divinely. She's amazing. I love her. <laughs> I feel like she definitely is held on to a higher frequency and that's why the world is not jiving with her. Um, 
she definitely volunteered herself for this period of time with that justice card. I do get an ace of wands, but I get that. Um, yeah, she doesn't remember anything. No, with that seven of swords, but she will gain clarity uh, going into the fourth density with that. So and, and I think she'll, I think she'll find out, but she, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing star seed. I'm hearing you know, star seed. Oh, yeah. A lot of us uh, are, are in the same position right now. I mean, we were laughing the other night about, um, you know, when we volunteered, a lot of us volunteered to come down for this time. And in order to take a third density body, we had to agree to be veiled, to be cloaked yeah. for this time. Because what, what, mm -hmm. what did he say? Because we can't have a bunch of people levitating in the third density, or it would, or it would screw the whole thing up. You know, like although that would be comical, I'd that pay would be money comical to see that, that show. <laughs> but can you imagine, like, if we came down and we knew everything, and we were just like levitating, it would screw the whole plan up. And so, yeah. you, the fact that you can't remember, or you're not sure right now, that's okay. It's okay. Yeah. And once the flip happens, you're going to remember and you're going to know. Um, and just, go ahead. I was saying, Sorry. just just take um pride in the fact that you agreed to this like you're you agreed to do this so you know you knew going into this that this was going to happen so don't freak out just be patient don't freak out <laughs> i also like to mention too um this has been coming up a lot lately with um feeling blocked mm -hmm. like that's the big word blocked um i want if, if you if the audience has ever seen the movie divergent it's one of those like um uh poke post-apocalyptic movie uh, scenes where um, the divergence are really like people like us. They're, they're people who cannot be programmed. They have multi-gifts, um, gifts in all sorts of ways. And uh, they're in a uh, totalitarianism, or I can't say that correctly. They're in like a, like a government that's, you know, tyrannical. Okay. So um, if you look at that, they had to cloak themselves in that movie. Otherwise they would have been hunted down. Yeah. So just look yeah. at it. Like you might be blocked, not because you don't have gifts. I mean, my gifts are just coming online. They just started to in the last year. Yes. I've had dreams and visions. I've been vocal about it with the church. We know where that went. I didn't get anywhere with that. <laughs> yeah, um, but you know, I, I was cloaked. You guys were cloaked. I mean, we all were cloaked because we're a threat to that, yeah. those, that group of Devil. people, the club. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're a threat. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, it's for your protection. It's absolutely. And we've actually been channeling that a lot. Haven't we? That a lot of people are cloaked yeah. for their protection a lot of yeah. people. that you would be safe. So, um, so just know that. And, and I know in a channeling that I was watching the other day from, uh, Mystic Tori, if you're watching, please contact us. We love yeah, you. She loves um, she <laughs> love you. She's fierce and she's channeling all this stuff too. And she said in one channel I was listening to, like, and I know Taylor, you've talked about laying down your sword. And it was basically God saying, like, stand back and duck. Like now you've done what you have to do. Now it's my time. Yeah. Stand back and duck. And yeah. so if you think about that right now in this moment where we literally have no control over the lever being pulled right now, and we're literally just here to support each other and to stand back now and duck because now the divine has to take over. And once that happens, once, once we're completely into that new world or new earth, I should say rather, then we'll be safe. And then the mm -hmm. healing can start. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. And sometimes you're cloaked because you, I got this for someone. It was really sweet. Her soul family was talking and they said, you'd miss home. If you knew so much, you'd miss home. And people, you would. <laughs> I think about all, I mean, as I've started to kind of understand, um, as the, as it is, as the phase gets, a, the fog gets a little bit clearer. Um, there are people that I've just met in this last year, including you ladies. Now I talk to you ladies every single day, but I know that if I had to go my 30 something years, knowing that you were out there, but I couldn't find you, that would really mm -hmm. suck. Yeah, you know, and so even the people that you're meeting now that you know as part of your soul family, you're like, why couldn't I met this have met this person earlier? There's a there's a divine timing, and and you needed to forget so that you wouldn't be in that painful position because this yeah. has been hard enough. This has been Earth, according to the law of one, mm -hmm. Earth is the hardest third density planet out of all of them. This is the Mac Daddy third density planet. You basically went to the Harvard of 3d planets 
Okay. And so why are you going to make it any harder? Of course, they're going to try to make it as, as easy for you as possible because it's already going to be hard. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. So let's do one more question and then we'll pick up the rest next week. So I know we have some other sh calls and shows we got to get on. So Tashi Tot says, hello, Bryce and state and Taylor. When will my humanitarian project come to fruition? Thank you. Lovely ladies. So Tashi oh, Tot. I just answered one of her questions on a recording I just did. Uh, oh, cool. I like that screen name, Tashi Tot. I know. It's just cute. Cool. I have a feeling it's going to be coming soon after that uh, tower moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's worked so hard on it. I feel like she's even, like, lost, like, things, maybe people, maybe money. She, not. It's like I almost, she's like, I don't care. I'd give up the money again. That's kind of like what I heard or her attitude about it. Um, but, yeah, I, yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> I think this is going to, yeah, she got two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cars are flying. They're flicking <laughs> everywhere. Um, so, Taylor, swords is what? Uh, months? Swords are fast. Swords can be days and weeks. Swords are very I fast. I got a seven of swords. Yep. Six of swords for me. Yep. Okay. Oh, wow. She'll have clarity. She's going to have a lot of clarity when it comes online. Oh when it will come to fruition. She's going to be very independent with it too. This is also Aries energy, um, but I got fast too. And like Steph said, she got seven weeks. I was thinking six weeks till clarity. Literally what Steph said is in my card too. And she's walking away from the old, the old way of being. And her humanitarian project might even look different. So just be aware of that. But I do feel like it's actually going to be a big part of her life. And she's going to be able to be abundant from it too. Cause she can, she, it's like, she earned it. Like she earned it. I know that you earned your throne. Right. <laughs> you are that crown girl. Where you earned it, girl. All right. All right. I know we have some other other shows we gotta get on to the calls we gotta take, guys. Um, so the rest of the questions we'll do on our next episode, guys. And once again, I'm gonna place all their information down in the description box. If you would like to tip them, I'll put all that contact down there too. It's not necessary, but if you want to, that is there too. So any party words as we headed to this weekend, seeing that we never know just what's gonna happen as the day goes by. Yes. So I was looking at the energy surrounding, like you said, the weekend. I thought that was perfect. You said weekend, and then I cut the deck. Um, so we have spirit coming in to assist us. So we have family, friends, and guides. So definitely count on your friends and family if you feel like that and you need that little burst. I know a lot of us are like, our families don't resonate with us. Well, what is your family now? Maybe you met some friendships or Zooms that maybe resonate as your family more, but call on your team right now. You know how Bryce was saying, like, let go, let God, and you just have to let it fall around you now at this point. Yep. Just ask your guides to hold you through it. Be like, Archangel Raphael, I'm hurting today. Help me heal. Archangel Michael, I don't feel safe um help me pro help protect me and again these are external things when you can literally protect yourself put an orb around you um white light photonic source light from you but like guys you have so much like assistance ask for it if you need it and and really really be vulnerable to the fact that like it's okay to ask for help like i felt like that was really important i think a lot of us don't want to ask for help it's okay it's okay Okay. I, trust me. Now that I know I can talk to my guides, I've literally been, like, they, they probably want me to shut up. They're like, be patient. Be patient. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yes, we have a lot of off worlder help in addition to that divine help that Taylor was talking about with that. And um, looks like there might be some celebratory stuff coming up i'm not giving out dates by the way I mean, just yeah there's gonna be lots of babies coming so <laughs> well i'm thinking more or less maybe i don't i want to be very careful what i put on youtube because i don't want to ruin plans right no i know yeah i know okay, i can Taylor, see in your head yeah so I think weird. They, she they read my mind talking. every time she reads my mind <laughs> yeah i don't imagination people yeah because i'm not i'm not gonna say it i'm being told not to say it but i yeah. will say this let go of this world. <laughs> this, this card says it's having a hard time letting go. We're exiting out of a world that has been run by the serpent. Let go of it. Yeah. Get rid of the old, purge the old, and allow God to open the doors to the new. That's yeah. my advice. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Yes. Any parting words, Bryce? What do you have to say? Be patient. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to know everything. <laughs> and if you also fold your panties, let me know. So I'm no, don't feel like I'm the only freak. Oh my God. I hate that word. I hate that word. Panties. <laughs> I hate it. I so hate that word. Okay. It's freaking underwear. Okay. I fold like my bras too. I so. that one is underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I Although, my to go back to one of our last videos, me and Bryce, before Taylor came along, we were talking about granny panties. So oh, yeah. Go. That is what I sleep in. Actually, I do have some nicer pajamas now because uh, I think my mother heard me say that and she was horrified. <laughs> so now I have a lot. Oh, I bet she was. I don't even know your mom, but I could just picture her being like, my Bryce shall not. <laughs> Wear your mascara in public and stop wearing your granny pants. Oh, I got my lipstick here. I got yeah. So so I now have some more presentable <laughs> pajamas. Thank you, mother. Um, oh my god. Because so I can look presentable for me, myself, and I. <laughs> so um, yeah, but there's nothing like a good old t-shirt and granny panties to get you through the night. So. <laughs> All right, guys. It's a well, I guess my parting advice would be just laugh, you guys. Like, it's kind of funny, like, it's kind of funny what's happening, and that is that that is the uh, highest level of spirituality. I know I brought my my best friend who's in Canada, I brought him on the show a couple of weeks ago, and he has a, a wicked sense of humor. And anytime I've been in a situation with, with him where there's something so serious, he always cracks a joke, and that's something that I appreciate about him, and that's something we should all be doing because you know what, demons can't laugh, they don't know how to laugh. So that is something children of the light can do. So just laugh guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We will, I will be back on Monday with another Monday mystery and then we'll see what the week, what, what I feel like at this point it is just as like as Taylor's message, just be surprised. I feel like this is just yeah. we're coming into a time of great surprises. And since Mercury retrograde is coming in guys, just don't freak out. Like that this last thing you need to do if something is there's a miscommunication or your cell phone's glitchy or you know, computer's weird. It's it just, it, it is what it is. And just read a book. Read a book. Yeah. So, okay. all right, guys. So have a wonderful Friday evening and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.